Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to begin with our calendar. Let's look at the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We are in the month of April. Okay. We're going to cross out the days that have already passed and we're going to circle the day that it is today and today is the 21st. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, let's go ahead and let's look at our days of the week. There are seven. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're going to answer these three questions. Yesterday was, so if we look at our calendar, we know that today's the 21st, and today is Tuesday. What day was it yesterday? Monday. Today is, our calendar tells us that today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be, if today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Okay, next we're going to move on to fluency. We're going to be doing the sounds. Okay, ready? We're going to try to go a little bit faster than we did yesterday. B, H, M, J, D, S, F, P, A, N, K, T, E, A, V, X, B, E, Z, W, P, K, K, E, G, A, R, K, S, L, E, R, Z, X, A, S, D, Y, J, G, M, V, T, K, W, N a k f h b y a n g j h l. Good job. Okay, next for today, we're still going to be talking about the story, The Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship. So we're going to go ahead and watch the story one more time, and then we're going to go ahead and do an activity on it. Welcome to BB Story Time. Do you want to read this book with me? Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more. Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship Written and illustrated by Edward Hemingway Mac was a good apple. He shared his toys with the other apples, helped Granny Smith pick up after art class, and loved to dive fearlessly into the watering hole. On a sunny day, Mac could bob for hours. On cloudy days, Mac would search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day, as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Soon all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools. Others crawled onto stones and pebbles, but one small worm had another idea. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling me right here. And now I can't seem to get him out of your head. It was you! And that's how Mac met Will. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite, fly himself, and play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. He couldn't remember a better day. Until he took Will to the orchard, 
Look at Mac. He's got worms. Mac, they're a rotten apple. I'm not rotten. I'm quite sweet, actually. So they left. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. He was a bit of a bookworm. Mac liked the adventure stories best. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. The most exciting part is when the pirates find treasure in the dirt. But the next day, it happened again. Ha ha, it's the bad apple. Ew, worms. And no one in the orchard would play with them. Not even the crab apples. Crab apples can be so mean. Bad Apple! That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. You are a good apple. Will. Mac went back to playing with his orchard friends, diving fearlessly into the watering hole and painting in Granny Smith's class. But nothing was the same. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill. Not a big hole. Just a teeny tiny little, you know, a small hole just big enough to fit. And nobody finished his sentences. Mac had to find Will. He searched low and high and in between, in the dirt, around the watering hole. And just when he had given up all hope, he looked up in the sky. Mac knew he'd rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could help me turn the pages. How do you know? Because you will always be a good apple in my book. Good and happy, and there's nothing bad about that. Hi oh. everyone, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the activity. So we listened to the story and what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a picture of the character that we think is a good friend. And then we're going to talk about how are they a good friend? So in this story, who do you think was a good friend? Yes, the worm was a good friend. So I'm going to draw a picture of the worm. How do you know that the worm is a good friend? What are some things that the worm does that makes him a good friend? The worm is nice. What are some other things that he does? He says nice words and he plays, he plays with the apple, right? He plays nicely with the apple. He uses nice words. What are some things that, um, other things that you can think of that the worm does to make, that makes him a nice, friend. Yes, he cares about the apple, right? What did he do? He cares about others. What did he do when the crab apples were making fun of the other apple? Yes, 
He left the apple and he wrote him a note letting him know that he was a good apple. He cared about him and he didn't want the other apples to make fun of him. Yes. So you can go ahead and make your list. If there's any other things that you think make him a good friend, go ahead and add them. Or if you think maybe another character was a good friend, you can go ahead and draw a different picture. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to math, and math, we're just going to do a addition story. Okay. Tad put five ladybugs in his bug jar. Tad's sister put three more ladybugs in Tad's jar. How many bugs does Jack, sorry, does Tad have in all? So here we're going to do our picture. I'm going to go ahead and draw a jar. Oops. Okay, and in this jar we know that Tad put five ladybugs. So I'm going to go ahead and draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Then Tad's sister put three more. So we're going to add three more. I'm going to go ahead and do them a different color. One, two, three. So that is our picture. The picture matches the story. And we want to know how many bugs does Tad have in all. So let's go to the number line. We know that we started with five ladybugs because Tad had put five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dot right here. This is where I started and we added three more. So let's count three more. One, two, three. Let me, that, or I'm not covering. So it's one, two, three. So this is going to tell us the total number of ladybugs we have in all. The answer says eight. Let's go, be, go back to the picture and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there are eight ladybugs in all. So we're gonna go ahead and write our equation. We began with five ladybugs. So we're gonna do the five. And we added three more. So we're gonna put the three more. And we know that when we add five plus three, our answer equals to eight. So my answer is eight bucks. Good job. Next, we're gonna move on to science. So science, we have been talking about plants and animals and what they need. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture of a flower or a plant and we're going to draw three things that they need. And here we have some labels. We're going to label it after drawing. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a plant. Okay, so we know that a plant has a stem, it has leaves, I'm going to go ahead and draw a flower. So going to be the petals. Okay. We know that there's dirt. Another word for dirt is soil. We know that the flower, what does it need? What part of the flower absorbs the water? The roots. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some roots and the roots are in the soil. They also get food from the, from the soil. Okay. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. Some things that the plants need to survive would be sunlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a sun. Can you think of something else that a plant would need? Water. So 
plant needs water to grow. And go ahead and drop my cloud. Okay, so let's go ahead and label our picture. So soil nutrients, that'll be down here. Roots, we have that one right here. Water. Flower, we have the flower right there. Leaves, why are the leaves important? Yes, the leaves, they, this is where they make the food and they need the sunlight. They absorb the sunlight so that they can make food for the plant. Sun, stem. Great job. So what are some things that the plant needs? They need sunlight, water, air, soil, and space to grow. Okay, for social studies, we have been talking about holidays around the world and different types of celebrations and how people celebrate in different ways. We're going to watch a quick little video about holidays.